Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Uh, if you've been driving around these days, you undoubtedly notice uh, lines and lines and large numbers of blackbirds up on the, the power lines and swirling around in the fields and, and they're not at your bird feeders, which is a really good thing. So uh, getting questions about, you know, flocking behavior. And, Title of the program is Meet the Flockers, an old article I wrote years ago. I like that title, so we went with that today. So, why do birds flock? And what's going on right now in the bird world? Well, yes, we know that uh, this is fall migration season, and we know that uh, birds gather up uh, certain species of birds, not all species of birds, but one of the, the major reasons that birds flock together is um, for migration and safety. Safety in numbers. If you are among a large group of your fellow species and you're moving together as a flock, you have more eyes on the sky. You have more eyes uh, looking for predators. You have more eyes looking for potential food sources, for potential places to sleep at night, things like that. So, yeah, safety is a big thing. Um, and and it's, it is pretty impressive. You know, when you watch these large flocks of birds, and them swirling around, how do they not collide? How do they you know, not hit each other? Well, the truth is actually they do actually hit each other sometimes and there is, there is some of that that goes on. And of course, there's also danger in flocking. Um, if you're migrating like that in huge numbers, if there's bad weather situations that you run into um, and if it's disastrous conditions, really bad storm, uh, you can lose a lot of your number of birds versus just a few if, if you're not flocking together. So there's, there are definitely pros and cons to flocking. But a lot of the species, like the snow geese that we're familiar with up at uh, Squaw Creek, um, they come in in large numbers in the fall. And then this picture is actually taken in the spring, uh, large numbers of them. Um, they can really confuse a predator. When, if you've been up there and you've watched, know when a bald eagle flies over the flock of snow geese, they get up and swirl around and make tremendous noise. And, uh, and that, a lot of that has to do with just trying to confuse a would-be predator. And that's, that's a real advantage. And that's what we see going on a lot up there. But not all birds flock uh, in the same species. Now, if you've been on one of my fall or winter bird hikes, we talk about interspecific flocks. And that is birds of different species flocking together. And these are feeding flocks, mostly. And they move around and, and try to, the theory is if you find food, I find food. And in, in our area and in lots of areas, the core species for those little interspecific flocks are chickadees. That's why whenever I go out this time of year, I'm listening a lot for chickadees. Because usually if I can find a little flock of chickadees that are feeding in the woods, they'll be downy woodpeckers, red-bellied woodpeckers, even eastern bluebirds. Um, in the south, we used to find um, a, a, a pine warblers in with them, you know, brown creepers in with them, yellow-bellied sapsuckers in with them. Um, and they are moving together along and uh, through the woods. And uh, again, the idea is those chickadees are so smart and so good at finding food. If those chickadees find food, then the other members of the flock will find food as well. So another reason to flock together. Um, if you ever get the chance to witness um, a, a, a flock, uh, a communal roost at sunset when, when at least huge, large, I mean, sometimes millions of birds, but thousands of birds uh, is more typical coming in to roost in this large clump of trees or in an old abandoned building or uh, something. It, it's, it's fascinating to watch that, uh, their, their behavior as they swirl around and swirl around, then a few enter and then a few enter and a few enter. And uh, it's almost like they're being sucked in, uh, you know, into the, the roosting spot. It's an interesting behavior. You ever get a chance to get out and see that. Uh, we were walking out of a restaurant the other night uh, at, right at sunset and the sound of the house sparrows flock that was flocking you know, landing and coming in to roost in a group of Bradford pear trees right outside the restaurant. It was pretty deafening as even just in that small number, but it, it's quite impressive and fun to watch. So uh, it's all about survival and that's what, uh, what birds of a feather flock together is all about. You know, more eyes, more, you know, you find food, I find food. Uh, if a predator comes along, we got a better chance, some of us to survive. So that's what it's all about. 
Um, if you like the programs, give them a like, give them a share, send in ideas for future programs. Until Oh, next week is bird feeder cleaning day here at the store. So look it up, uh, give us a call, uh, bring those bird feeders in, get them cleaned up for the fall feeding season. All this year, the proceeds go to benefit Parkville Nature Sanctuary. So until then, come by and let's talk birds. Two, one. Would you like to learn more about wild birds? You might want to hit that subscribe button.